I'm very concerned for Richard's son because I can slowly see him turning into Richard. Gotcha. He flipped the desk at school. He grabbed someone's arm. He's telling me that he doesn't have to listen to me. He's watching what his dad's doing. He thinks it's okay. The worst part is that Richard's son has seen the abuse. He's heard Richard call me fat, bitch, shut up, or stupid, you're ugly. It's awful. If Richard's son continues, JC, the verbal and physical abuse, will end up just like his dad. Jordan says much of what she has endured has been in front of the watchful eyes of Richard's 10-year-old son. Now, Ashley is the mother of this little boy and says after Richard was arrested for abusing her, she did end things. But she too worries about what her son has witnessed. I completely understand what Jordan is going through because I dealt with it myself. During our relationship, Richard was abusive mentally, emotionally, and physically. Every time Richard would lash out at me, he would always cry, apologize, say he was sorry, he would never do it again. I would take him back and then they would repeat. Richard and I got into an argument one evening. He was literally pulling me by my hair. He picked me up and tossed me into his mom's room where I hit the corner of her dresser, and that's when I split my head open. I had bleach blonde hair, and my hair was literally red. There was so much blood. He made me stay at his mom's house for three days, took my phone, and did not let me leave. One time, I was cooking dinner. He didn't want to tend to our child, and he basically went off the deep end. He picked our son up and tossed him about five feet away onto the couch because he was upset with me. He slapped me and then started pulling my hair, and my parents had to intervene. I was basically done with the situation, and I cut ties with him, and that was it. My son has definitely seen the abuse in the home with Jordan and Richard. My son has told me about an incident that happened where Richard had hit Jordan in the face with a broomstick. My son somehow intervened and his dad actually elbowed him in the cheek. It's very upsetting that my son is seeing the verbal and physical abuse. Richard should turn his life around, you know, do what's right for his son. Tell me about your son. Good boy. He's my saving grace. I love that boy. Good boy. Great boy. The most powerful role model for that boy is you. And they start to mimic even little nuances of who you are. Things that were put on you as you were coming up, you're now modeling for him, and he's going to do exactly what you're doing if you don't do something to change it. This is his mom right here, right? You're his mom, Ashley? Yes, I am. Okay, now, how's he doing at school? Um, he definitely has behavioral issues. He's flipped desks, he's stood on tables and chairs, yes. If you begin to change, then you'll see changes as him because he can, he'll continue to watch you.